Hello and welcome to the Savvy Gadgets channel with me, Ven UK. If you've already subscribed to my channel, then thank you very much. Your subscription is greatly appreciated. If you're not already a subscriber, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Now, as a wise man once said to me, shut up and get on with it. So here it is. Hello and welcome to Project Zomboid. So, Project Zomboid on its own is a pretty good game, but uh, I've been playing on very safe mode and uh, it's basically turned into a tutorial. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to ramp up the difficulty, but I also wanted to try out um, some of the modifications that, that people have made as part of the Steam Workshop. Uh, and so uh, I've been looking out for some, some mods and here are a few that I've chosen. Okay, so book collection uh, basically renames all of the books and names them into a logical volume 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So from beginner to master. Um, then you know what books you have and which books you don't. Uh, the Katana. I've always wanted to give that a go ever since I've seen it on videos in because uh, I watch videos myself of people playing these games and uh, apparently it's an absolutely awesome weapon uh, that's the standard mod template gun mods replaces ordinary uh, guns with real world count parts just as it says there and uh, silence and modification for weapons so you can put them on hunting rifles you can put them on pistols uh, and then this one, Super Survivors. Now, I've watched a video series done by uh, Ambiguous Amphibian, and uh, the Super Survivors is really pretty cool. Um, he's done a few, and they're, they're really good and really fun to watch. So, uh, if if you want some more videos uh, to sort of like get your head around Project Zomboid, and uh, and Ambiguous Amphibian is uh, a good place to start, uh, along with my tutorials, of course. But yeah, Super Survivors is single player only, and um, it basically, it's a really cool mod because it puts in a lot of survivors in the game, including you have a wife or a husband, depending on what sex you have. Um, and then it's a case of you can gather survivors together and you can then build a little community, just like it's in The Walking Dead. It's a really cool mod. It's really worth checking out. Um, so yeah, but how do you get mods? Because they're not already part of this list. You have to actually go and find them. And to do that, you have to go down here in the bottom right hand corner and say get mods. And then it takes you to Steam and it takes you to the workshop in Steam. And then you can find your list of mods as you like so there's uh, 737 mods for the game including backpack mods new cars and uh, if we look for uh, let's see the most popular so the cars are pretty good uh and today look you order them by oh, chainsaws Chainsaw mods, not particularly bothered with chainsaws, I don't know super survivors look. And what you do is you press the little icon there, or you go in and click that button and it subscribes you to it, and then it will download it as additional content, and then it will end up in your list on the left hand side. So, nice and simple, and then once you've actually clicked on that, once it's actually downloaded, um, what you'll do is you'll end up with. Uh, the mods in this list and you can enable them so that's pretty cool so uh, I've got pretty much all of those apart from super survivors mod I don't want that just at the moment so what I'm going to do is going to load up and I can show you the book mods um, in action of course it's the end of times again and this is how you died again Okay, so it's fairly dark at the moment, but there's the bookcase right in front of me. As you can see, you've got for dummies, uh, volume one, intermediate volume two, three advanced, four expert, and then you've got five as a master. So all of your books are 
to start off with the name of what it is. So it's cooking, carpentry, electric, farming, first aid, foraging, mechanics, metalwork, trapping. So you know where you stand, you know where you, you, you can see, oh look, I'm missing volume three there, or volume four, or volume two from there, you know, so you can see where you're missing and if you can keep your eye out for it and you know what you're looking for. Okay, so hopefully you've found that a little bit useful and uh, you can uh, take it from there, basically, and then try out as many mods as you like. Now, not all mods play well together. Uh, it has to be said, some of them are well out of date and won't work with the latest build of Project Zomboid, so please be careful. You know, if Project Zomboid stops working, then you will either have to disable the mod you've just installed, or you may have to remove Project Zomboid from your, your computer and then reinstall it. Not particularly a hardship because it's not a, a massive game to download, but all the same, it's still a pain. So be careful. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this, you found it useful, you found, you know, you've learned something a bit new, you found out how to extend the gameplay of Project Zomboid. So, uh, until the next one, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.